Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from structures. A concrete slab is 5 inches thick as shown. The loading is listed below. Determine the reaction in column B in KIPS. And we giving uh, given a slab live load of 50 PSF, a beam weight of 40 pounds per foot, and a concrete unit weight of 150 pounds per cubic foot. So here's the dimensions of our slabs. We also have this beam running underneath here. All right, so the first thing we need to look at is our loads. So we need to look at our dead loads. And we've got 150 pounds per cubic foot. That's the concrete unit weight. And if we multiply that by the thickness of this slab, which is 5 inches, we're going to divide that by 12 inches in a foot. So our inches cancel. Our feet will cancel with one of these. So I'll leave it squared. That gives me 62.5 pounds per foot squared. So that's our dead load. A live load was given as 50 pounds per square foot. Pounds per square foot. If you add those two together, that's 112.5 pounds per foot squared. Okay, so now that we got that loading, we can start looking at this slab and we basically need to resolve all these distributed loads into something that we can look at in a profile view. This is what I'm doing here. So if you look at this beam on a profile view, you got B and I'm sure you've got a reaction on the other side here. So here's B and you've got this is a 10 foot long section. Here's the 8 foot long section. And we're going to try to resolve these loads eventually. First, we're going to get a distributed load along the length of it. And then we'll resolve that distributed load to a point load. We'll just call that F1 and F2, each acting halfway between each of those sections. So First thing we need to look at is the 12 foot wide section. Wide. Okay, 12 foot wide section. So basically we're going to take the 112.5 pounds per foot squared. That's pounds per foot squared. Sorry if you can't read that. Let's redo that real quick. So I'll call that pounds per square foot PSF. And we're going to multiply that by 12 feet, 12 feet wide. And we're going to, of course, don't, don't forget to add the weight of the beam, plus 40 pounds per foot. So all of that equals 1390 pounds per foot. Okay, that's a 12 foot wide section. Now let's look at the 6 foot wide section. And of course, I'm chopping this off right here. I hope that lines up, but I'm chopping that off right there. So now let's look at the six foot wide section. And that's gonna be 112.5 pounds per foot squared. Multiply that by six foot wide. And of course, add that beam weight there. And that gives me 715, and that is pounds per foot. Okay, so now we've got the 6 foot wide section, we've got the 12 foot wide section, we've got that resolved now. So it, because we did the width, now we've basically got, you know, a distributed load acting along the length here. So I'm drawing that in like that. Okay, so that's what we've done here. We've got on the 12 foot wide section, we've got 1390 pounds per foot acting long there. And in this section, we've got 715 pounds per foot acting long here, just like I've drawn here, if we were looking at it in a profile view. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to take the sum of the moments, and I'm gonna take about, we'll call this A. 
I'm going to take it about this so we can find B. It's asking for the reaction at column B. So if we take some of the moments about A, we'll call counterclockwise positive. That gives me a minus reaction at A multiplied by 18 feet away. It's 18 feet away. And we have to add 1390 pounds per foot pounds per foot multiply that by eight feet and the distance is halfway so we've got our f2 let's see the distance is going to be four feet four feet away okay so the 1390 times eight feet we're resolving this to a point load and that's acting halfway at the halfway mark of this eight foot so that's four feet away okay so now we have to add our other force which is going to be 715 pounds per foot multiply that by 10 feet and then halfway well the reaction is acting how far away from a that's 8 plus 5 8 feet plus 5 feet okay multiply these two out and add them together take it to the other side and divide by 18 and I get one three seven four three zero that's going to be divided by the 18 and that gives me seven six three five which is seven point six kips answer is c on that all right so i hope that helped you out you're going to see problems like this on the p exam where you're going to have to know how to resolve these forces on a slab and get a reaction somewhere so Anyway, head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.